Hey, welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Destro Reborn. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. So, do y'all want to know something crazy? I just decided to go look at videos about decentering men. Decentering men. This whole decentering men before and all this. I, I have quite a few videos coming up with this because everybody's been asking about it, but it's just funny to me. Came up with like 9 million gazillion videos of women talking about how to decenter men and why. For them to have to be 9 million gazillion videos of this, women are desperate. Something told me to just go look up videos about decentering women. I could not find a single man on here talking about decentering. Yeah, it's called Midtown. What are you talking about? We don't make stupid little decentering or words or phrases for it. We, we made our own. We called it Midtown. Men just walking away, going away, going their own way. Leave us alone. Women. Not one. And if you could find one, do it and, and send it to me. But I couldn't find a single man on here talking about decentering women. These men are not pressed about us the way we are pressed about them. Nope. They are not trying to decenter a goddamn thing. You know why? Because it's not that serious to it them really and they isn't. could care less. Like, that spoke volumes to me. We don't look at each other the same way, men and women. Don't. And ugh, we just really got to do better. They're not trying to figure out how to decenter because we were never the center to begin with for them. <laughs> like, I love it. Damn, love like it. this yeah. spoke volumes to me. These men don't give a, <laughs> and we make them the this just big deal. And we're not, we're really not that big of a deal to them because they know where they- I mean, for the simps and stuff, you are somewhat of a big deal, but, but normal men that have seen the light, the red light, they know what's up. They have us, they have us where they want us. We're gonna have to talk about this later because again, I'm flabbergasted. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry it's no wonder that today's men struggle to place women at the heart of society. How can they, when modern women sometimes seem to have cast themselves as entrepreneurs of attention? How can they, when modern women sell themselves as a 24-7 red light district? Mm -hmm. Honestly, being a devoted admirer, or a simp as the internet so lovingly calls it, is a full-time job with no benefits. How could a devoted simp put women on a pedestal when they flaunt their body count like sharpshooters comparing tallies at the rifle range. Many men see today's dating scene as a revolving door of casual encounters, barely fit for building anything more lasting than a paper house in a rainstorm. Damn. Shout outs to Destro learning how to use AI to create this little paper house in the rain right now. Shout out to you, brother. I need to learn how to use AI a little bit more. With anthems awesome. blaring from Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, the self-appointed high priestess of the 304 Cabal, <laughs> it's no wonder some of our comrades are spooked. A melting pot of STDs, bastardized children, and mean grimaces. Yep. Pillow princesses with BBLs and surgery scars. What sane architect would build a foundation on this bedrock? This is not stability. It's a blueprint for disaster. Let me give you an example of the modern women I speak of. Speak of. Okay, so since no one else is going to speak on the topic, I'm going to speak on the topic. A man with no kids versus a woman with no kids is completely different. Huh? But no kids act like stuck up. <laughs> I swear to God, men with no kids are sassy. It's because we got options. We're sassy. We don't want you. Single mothers were sassy. I don't mind being sassy then. Hell. 
Oh, yes. Yet another deranged hood Teletubby. By the look of those arms, we can speculate that she got the Dominican number three, which is the BBL with the gastric bypass surgery option. Why waste your time with a passport when you can just jump on her back and fly to your destination with her wings of adipose tissue? <laughs> Straight off the operating table and her first order of business is to devalue men that won't chose her. Chose her. Chose her. Chose her. Mind you, I'm also a woman with no kids. Okay, I am a woman, don't have kids, never been pregnant, none of, none of the foolishness. But it seems like when I talk to a dude with no kids, all of a sudden it's a broom stuck up his ass. He got his nose turned up in the air. Mind you, I mean, in 2024, if you're not a baby daddy, you know, it's, it's real, real, real rare. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. But also, yeah, all the pookies, Ray Rays in the chats that you want to fuck with. It's rare for them to not have children, but most men don't have children. <laughs> like, it is global that majority of men, I think over 50% of men, don't have children. So, I'm also a woman with no kids. I may be considered rare as well. And I don't act like that. I don't give a, I mean, I really don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you're, you hit the wall, you're left over. You want men like, you know, of means. Men that are good men that have already built themselves up. Why would they look at you the same? Just because you're childless? So when a dude be acting mad stuck up, like he's untouchable cause he ain't got no kids. It's like, boo, tomato, tomato. Cause I also don't have kids. Translation, translation, translation. <laughs> I am a disgruntled modern woman. Mm -hmm. I've spent thousands of dollars attempting to change my lunch lady body into a bad B. Yet here I am going on date. <laughs> Didn't I mention somebody looked like a lunch lady the other day? <laughs> after date, only experiencing lukewarm responses. Because my veins are concentrated with testosterone and cholesterol, I can't understand why society rolls out the red carpet for men without kids, but side eye women in the same boat. Make it make sense. Yes, I know I only have three seconds left on the shot clock to have a child, while men can leisurely play the field until their hair turns the color of wisdom, or whatever <laughs> Just For Men calls it. <laughs> the color of wisdom. I didn't realize white was... Uh, I guess white can be a color of wisdom. I, I, I can see that. But you know what? I find comfort in the cozy embrace of cognitive dissidence and the intoxicating scent of good old-fashioned delusion. Armed with these trusty companions, I will double, no triple down my efforts to shame these men who treat me like a decorative doorstop. It's a bold strategy, isn't it? Diabolical, even. I feel like you would be considered rare or like upper echelon or you could be considered top tier for not having kids only to men and women who have children. Uh -huh. I'm on your same level, buddy. So it's just like, I just be experiencing the most weirdest things because I don't give a damn. You don't have kids. Yay. Like, that's something for you to pat on your own back. You you know what I'm saying? But to put those type of, like, but to act like stuck up and all that, it's just weird. Men with no kids. It's just called standards. I don't really meet that very many men that are stuck up. Unless they're part of like the LGBTQ community, they're a little like they got that little bit of an attitude, right? But I don't know, meet very many men. Doesn't matter if they're like masculine or feminine men. I don't really see them do that. Kids act like females. Well, I think the real question is why can't you act like a female? Mm. Why must you talk and look like OG Crip Tukey Williams? Jeez. Maybe then heterosexual men that you are attracted to won't associate you with the result of dropping the soap in a prison shower. <laughs> it's crazy how these 260 pound nasty Nate women talk so cavalierly about men that they are not qualified for. You know what? Let's let her talk because at least she'll burn a few calories. <laughs> and I want to know women, have y'all ever experienced that? I don't want to date a man without kids. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, if, if you don't have at least one kid, one, two, max. I really don't want to talk to you. I do. I'm telling you, that you tell on themselves. Like, the men that have these kind of kids, one, two, that are still dating around, sleeping around, it's the Ray Rays, the Pookies, and the Chats. It's not the normal men. Normal men just don't have kids. 
And we don't have kids with a whole bunch of different baby mamas like that. Do not want to. Like maybe one wife that divorced us or a wife that passed away. Majority of the time. And then the rookie, the, the Pookies and the Ray Rays and the Chads, they got endless lines of baby mamas. Talk to you because of how they act. Y'all act like how a woman should act. And maybe a woman with no kids is also stuck up. I don't know. But I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I am a woman with no children. And I don't act like that. And I'd be damned if a nigga that I talk to act more stuck up than me. You know what? It's time for the modern girl conglomerate to come up with some new insults in 2025. The, sa yeah, the sassy, the gay. That's pretty much what they use all the time i see broke dusty attacks have lost all their fervor and spice <laughs> maybe they need a true arms dealer like your grace lord destro let us all yawn in sequence at their flimsy attempts to trigger us let mm. them squabble as we redirect first aid money into saving account money mm -hmm. with every deep stroke into sweet farming girl tenderloin remember there's a modern girl at home trying to decentralize you <laughs> Such a glorious epiphany, don't you agree? But alas, I've said too much. <laughs> but wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, blast, blast. That first clip was hilarious. She is totally right. We don't care enough about women to create videos about decentering them. We create videos like this, red pill to warn men about women. But men can do whatever they want. You want to run through women? I don't suggest it, but you have that ability. You want to save yourself and protect yourself from uh, all of this danger? <laughs> I don't hate on it either. You want to move from danger to another bit, another area that's a little bit less danger? I'm all for it. Protect yourselves at all times, men. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.